Hello guys, today in this video I will install Kali Linux or almost any Linux distribution onto external hard drive. Here I got my DVD drive of Kali Linux and now uh, here I connect my 8GB pen drive onto which here I got 8GB pen drive on which I am going to install Kali Linux completely. That is not as it is not live boot. Now here I select AOMI partitioning software. Now I will partition my pen drive into two partitions. First partition will be extension 3 uh, and second partition will be of swap type. But in the software there's no swap, there's no extension 4 so I will select extension 3 and other partition I will select as unformatted. Uh, here I'll just partition the space up to around 6 gigs select it to primary partition next I'll just apply these changes oh so we'll apply these changes first then we'll go to next partition So it's done. Now I'll we'll create another partition of unformatted type because it does not have Linux swap. I'll select as logical. Everything set. Now we'll click OK. Next I'll apply it. And we are done. Now I'll open my boot menu of my laptop here I got sorry for the shaky video I hope you can adjust now I'll select the DVD drive because I got uh, Linux color next DVD bootable drive So, I'll select graphic install. Now I'll select English as my native language. Select the country to India. American English. Just click on next. Now it will just mount all the modules. So I will connect to my home Wi-Fi network for uh, its updating processes. Because it is uh, booting from DVD drive so it's kinda slow. You may ask me why I have, I have chosen DVD drive for the installation onto USB drive. The answer is very simple. For installing the Call Linux or almost any uh, Linux distribution, you need to have internal hard drive for the installation. But if you are choosing to install external hard drive, you need to have softwares from CD drive or DVD drive. I will enter the key. 
so now it's attempting to exchange keys and this establish establishing the connection now I'll just click on continue continue select the root password Now we'll select to manual. Uh, first one is my internal hard drive. I will just just don't touch that. I will just select it to use it as extension four. Now I'll just format the partition as to yes. I'll select the mount point to root. Then we are done. okay so done setting up the partition next I'll select to logical it should be swap it's automatically selected now we'll just write changes and click continue so it's just formatting the partitions that we have created after formatting it will just install the color Linux onto the external hard drive or USB drive for the per performance for the good performance I would just recommend you to choose a greater size USB drive 